110 years after Madison's Garver Feed Mill first opened, it now stands empty and deteriorated. Serious safety concerns are spurring Madison officials to look at the city landmark and what its future holds. News 3's Leah Linshai joins us with their efforts to save that crumbling building, Leah. Yeah, Eric and Michelle, the Carver building's brickwork is crumbling, and taggers have targeted its walls and even its roof with graffiti over the years. Safety concerns for those taggers and for others who may frequent the publicly owned building is growing. So the city is taking a look at its options to save the historic landmark. There are very few places in the city that are anything like this. For years, the Garver Feed Mill has been a historic landmark for the city of Madison. And for years, it's continued to crumble. There's a graffiti on the roof and there's also a tree growing out of the roof. The site has become a popular one for high school kids, taggers, and others. But as the walls and roof fall apart, city officials say the publicly owned building could become a liability. Uh, we're lucky that, you know, that the whole thing, or most of it, uh, remains standing. And we're lucky that, you know, some kids climbing up a wall, that we haven't had a problem of the wall falling down. We need to move as quickly as possible so that we can get the building redeveloped. Uh, the longer we wait, the more it deteriorates. The city is no longer waiting. At Monday's Board of Estimates meeting, committee members recommended a request for proposals for the site. That means the old Garver building would be sold in hopes of breathing new life into its walls. We're looking for someone to buy the building, redevelop it, and then bring in some type of use that will be complementary to all of the neighbors around there. The price would be certainly substantial. It won't be cheap. The last attempt at redeveloping Garver had an estimated price tag of $16 million before it ultimately failed. But city officials say the historic building is worth the investment. There are no places that will compare to this, I think, anywhere in the city. And whoever is fortunate enough to make this work will have a real gem. The Board of Park Commissioners will take up the request for proposals Wednesday night, and if they approve it, the full City Council will be able to take action at its meeting next Tuesday. And city officials say the goal is to get a development rolling by the end of next year already. All right, we'll see where this goes. Leah yep. Linscheid reporting. Leah, thank you very much. You're welcome.